Hi, my name is Josh, and I'm a watchaholic. Welcome to Horology Insanity. What is up, my watch friends? So, check this out. Yeah, Pac-Man. And I have an announcement to make. Horology Insanity has surpassed 2,000 subscribers. And that is a significant milestone for us as we continue to just do this channel as an extension of my somewhat insane watch hobby. And as I take some of y'all along with me, at least those of you who want to check it out. And as of right now, it seems like about 2,000 of y'all do. So I think that's cool. I just wanted to do this video to say thank you. So I've got Pac-Man sitting here in the background. This is specifically the Casio Pac-Man. And it's because I want to give this beautiful watch away as part of a celebratory giveaway. This is just to say thank you for all of you who subscribe and who have been following along and enjoying the channel. And so what we'll do is we'll just take a quick look at this watch and kind of what the giveaway is going to be all about. I will talk about the rules and kind of how to enter, how I'll pick the winner and all of that kind of stuff. And then, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll ship this watch. Now, of course, this is for free. I'll take care of shipping. I took care of the watch. Um, we are going to do Conus only, so there won't be any like duties or imports or fees. But with that, I do want to make a quick caveat for my worldwide subscribers. I am brainstorming other ways to be able to do more reliable giveaways internationally. I've tried to do a couple in the past, and I'm going to be honest with you, a couple worked out well, but a couple have not worked out well. And it's mainly because of shipping. Worldwide shipping has been kind of not great over the last couple of years because of, well, I don't know, a lot of other things. I'm not going to talk about that. But let's just say i want to be able to do worldwide giveaways in this case with this watch the shipping would cost more than the watch did and so i hope you don't mind that i'm going to do this one conus for the us only so i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to do a giveaway in the future where i buy the watch from a company who does international shipping and that way no matter where the person who wins it is in the world i'll just have the company ship it to them and that way it'll go through hopefully a more reliable system than me trying to do it you know through one of my local post offices or something like that but one of the reasons why i wanted to give away this watch is because i grew up as an 80s kid and i know that a lot of y'all who watch my channel uh, according to the youtube demographics and stats and stuff that it shows us a lot of y'all probably grew up in the 80s too and you can appreciate this i know that i remember playing pac-man on the tabletop arcade game version of this at my local pizza hut when we went there to get our personal pan pizzas from doing the Book It Reading Club. Again, if you're in the States, you, you might have grown up doing a, I mean, Book It was all the rave back in the day. And how better way to like bribe kids into doing something they don't want to do than by offering them free pizza. I don't know. I hated reading back in the day and it still got me to at least participate in it. And so now if you can only see the fact that I have a personal library that's huge, I just went through my master's degree and, and graduated summa cum laude from that. But yeah, I was reading, you know, probably at least one or two books a week, probably maybe even three, depending on the class and, and how much work I had to put into it. But anyway, yeah, book it, Pizza Hut, personal pan pizzas, Pac-Man. That was fun man, those were the days. I don't know. I sit here and I kind of reminisce a little bit, kind of like the way that you remember anybody watch South Park and you see the member berries episode where they try to get you to remember and have all the fond memories and things. That's when I, when I'm doing, when I see this Pac-Man and watch and I want to do it as a giveaway and, and just know I have another one of these for my personal collection. I also have the Timex Pac-Man watches. And so maybe one of these days I'll get around to doing a Pac-Man video other than this one, of course. But this one here, I got it solely so that I could do it as a giveaway. And so that's why I'm paying it forward now. But anyway, yeah, member berries from South Park. That's funny. But it is, it is a thing, I guess. It is reminiscent. So anyway, let's just take a couple of looks at the watch real quick. You'll notice it is mint. It's new in box. It is still wrapped and taped up. And in fact, I thought it was interesting. You'll see it's got this awesome design it's got the Pac-Man etching on the bracelet. And I will say, I'll do a comparison another day. 
I think that gives this Casio a little leg up over the Timex because the Timex doesn't quite have that. I think it's interesting. You do have everything on the front of the dial here. All of the buttons, you'll notice there's no buttons on the side here. It is a fingerprint magnet because it is gold plated, but all the navigational buttons are here on the front of the watch. And then it does have a clasp that I, I've come to really appreciate and like. It's a snap clasp and it hooks on right here. The reason I like it is because this end, if you flip this little notch up right here, you have almost infinite adjustable points right here. So you can get this to be a perfect fit for your wrist. And I'll say this too, you kind of need to get it to be a perfect fit because this thing will yank the hairs off of your arm. So if you've got hair, I'm actually wearing, a, a this was a gift from a buddy of mine, a good buddy, Chris, but I'm wearing my spinnaker hole. I've got it on NATO. This thing never pulls the hairs, but if you have hairs on your wrist, I think Jody calls these like a nipper or something like that. Yeah. It, this can be uncomfortable, but hopefully with this clasp and its ability to do an infinite adjust here, you won't have to worry about it, you know, nipping your hair if you can get a good fit. You will notice that underneath the clasp, they did keep it wrapped there because it will get some wear marks with the metal on metal contact here, but you just hook that in, snap it. But yeah, they even put it on the clasp, Mark Casio. Y'all know Casio is my favorite brand, right? I mean, like if I had to pick one brand to enjoy, when, not to say that any Everybody has to do that, right? I mean, that's a little limiting. But if I had to pick one, it would be Casio. It would. I love their G-Shock lineup. I'm going down the Oceanus rabbit hole. I'm gonna have another video coming about that here soon because I am loving their Oceanus watches. And even these, they're more plain Jane, they're digital models. I like all of these. Casio is where it's at. Anyway, this one, you can see it does have the box in the background. It's got the inner case, which is also branded Casio Pac-Man. It comes with like a styrofoam thing in here. I think just to keep the face of the watch from getting dinged up because it is gold plated. I don't know. I don't know how durable that's going to be over the long haul. I think the etching on the bracelet will be pretty sustainable. But yeah, I don't know about the gold plating, depending on how deep that goes or a scratch. In case anybody wants to see it. Here is the card for it. Here's the model number. We'll put that up there. You can see retail price was basically $100, 100 US. And so, so this is what we are giving away. So now let's get real quick into the rules. First of like normal, subscribe to the channel, right? So if you haven't already done so, I mean, the giveaway is really meant to thank all the subscribers that are already on the channel. But if you're part of this and you want to kind of join into the insanity that this channel is, then please hit subscribe and you can join along in the fun. Like this video, so just give it a thumbs up. And then the real thing that is necessary is to comment down below this video because it is based upon the comments that I will be picking the winner. As usual, I will use a random YouTube website comment generator picker thingy and I just kind of enter it in. It'll pick a winner at random. Normal stuff, sharing is not required, but is always appreciated. You know, YouTube rules kind of say, let's say 18 plus, right? Age 18 and up. I will do want to do this one US only because of shipping. And I will pick the winner from the comment sections two weeks after this video publishes. So just keep that in mind. You got two weeks to watch the video, two weeks to make a comment, enter, subscribe, do all that fun stuff. And I will then make a video. It'll be a short one announcing who the winner is. And I will also pin that person's comment and I will reply to that comment in YouTube so that hopefully that will notify the winner on their end, like in your notifications. So it should say like, Hey, I horology insanity replied to your comment. It might tell you if it, if I pinned it or not, I don't know if it tells you that or not, but it'll be pinned, but check back two weeks. It'll be there. And then please don't put your personal information down in the comment section, but email me horology at gmail.com. That email address is in the description of every video that I make, and you can see all of these rules and everything, all the details down in the description as well. I usually pick the winner and then I pick a couple of extra names as a runner up. 
If I do not hear back from the winner, then I will move on to a runner up. In the past, I've not had to worry about that. Any hiccups I've ever had with any of these giveaways has really just been with international shipping. It's not been with anything else. So that's good news. And I want to continue to do giveaways. And uh, hopefully y'all know generosity is a theme of this channel. I've got a whole generosity playlist and I want to keep that going. I want to keep that being a standard part of this channel. Hopefully that, that will spread throughout the watch community. I've been able to be around some extremely generous people. Again, as, as I just say, this watch right here was a gift from a friend that they just knew that I liked it and then went out of their way to get it for me. And that was just, it was just nice. It was just thoughtful and generous. And so, yeah, I want to keep doing that. I'm hoping that I can do that a little bit with this Casio Pac-Man. With that, we will call this one to a wraps and just thank you sincerely thank you thank you for following along thank you for subscribing to the channel and you know for so many of you that i'm actually kind of let i know and that i'm kind of friends with thanks for being awesome parts of this watch hobby and uh it's kind of like my closing statement always says it's please remember what really matters and that that's not watches but it is generosity and all these awesome friends so yeah, keep that in mind, please. Keep the insanity sane, my friends. Mm -hmm.